Remember the APD officer who killed a deacon over traffic ticket, all right? So we now have more video and we can clearly see this cop used a leg sweep on an elderly man that was not being combative at all. Um, let me take you to the video, here it is. I'll get my soldier for it, but you're still yeah, gonna yeah, sign yeah, this yeah, ticket. Yeah, I got you, so I, 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 That's I fine. But you're gonna sign this ticket right here before I get my sergeant out here. No, no, okay. Please. No, no. You're no. gonna sign this ticket or I'm gonna take you to jail. I didn't do that to Who are you screaming at? I told I, you once, lower your voice. My voice is You're not, you're not gonna scream heavy. at me. My voice is heavy. Do you understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> now you're gonna sign this ticket or I'm gonna take you to jail. I suggest you sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. Okay, I'm gonna sign the ticket. I'm gonna sign the ticket. I'm gonna sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. I cannot sign the ticket. You're acting crazy. I'm not doing nothing. Give me your arm. I'm right here. Give me your arm. I'm right here. Give me your arm. My butt already hurts, man. Give me your arm. 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 Give me I'm not right away. Hey, 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 while in physical confrontation, he's yelling, sign the ticket like he's in a mafia or something. And then decides to tase this man. Man has already told him he has some health complications. He tases him anyway. He ignores the request for the sergeant. APD does fire this cop named Kyron Kimbrough. They fired the cop citing his administrative policy violation because he was supposed to get a sergeant based on request, but he did not. Now, obviously, um, this was heartbreaking to Deacon Holman's daughter, who was on the phone. She was on speakerphone while her father was being killed. We were able to do an in-depth exclusive interview um, with, with the daughter. And here's part of what she said. Ms. Holman, when you got the information about what happened, what was the narrative presented to you first? So first of all, nobody really came and spoke to me about what happened. I actually, my dad actually called me. So when he called me, he called out, he said, baby, baby. But I could hear what was going on because he, you know, the phone was on speaker. So I could hear my dad and I could also hear the officer. So seeing that video, um, it just gave me confirmation for what I already knew because I had already heard it. I didn't physically see it, but I heard it. So when I put what I heard to what I saw, yeah, I'm in outrage. And I feel like this officer, he needs to be prosecuted. I feel like he needs to be off the force and terminated. And I feel like the world needs to see what he did to my daddy. It's, to me, it's just clear cut murder. She was with my dear friend, Attorney Davis for that interview. Um, if you recall, the Atlanta police would not release the video, but they allowed the family and the attorney to see the video. So they came on my show to explain what they saw because the video had not been released. The DA's office end, it ended up releasing the video contrary to what APD wanted to have happen. Let me give you the background and update. So the family of Johnny Holman Sr., the 62 year old church deacon who died after being tased during a traffic ticket dispute with a cop last summer, they are now suing the city of Atlanta. I want to remind you that after this, the city council voted to make it legal, permissible, that you no longer have to sign tickets in the city of Atlanta. It was just that simple. But because of this cop, a whole human being is dead, a father gone, a grandfather deceased. Uh, let's put them up. So Karen Kim wrote a cop. And then you also have the chief, Darren Sheerbaum. All right. So Kimbrough, he's gone. 
He was fired by the chief. But they are defendants in the filing, seeking punitive damages since Holman's death. His family has been calling for Kimbrough to be criminally charged. That is up to the district attorney, Fonnie Willis. Kimbrough was fired from the APD on uh, in October for violating, quote, <laughs> standard operating procedure when he failed to have a supervisor, which is a sergeant, on the scene prior to proceeding with the physical arrest after Mr. Holman failed to sign the citation. The claim obtained by Atlanta Black Star was filed in the US District Court of the Northern uh, District of Georgia, January 18th, for the needless and wrongful death of Holloman. It says that Holloman should not have been shot in the first place, talking about the use of taser, especially since he eventually complied. You clearly hear him saying, I signed the ticket. I was signed the ticket, all right? And that officer used excessive force. Uh, this is the second lawsuit stemming from Holman's death. Last month, the family filed a lawsuit against a tow truck driver, Eric Robinson, and his employer, SW Services of Atlanta, Inc. It alleges that he helped Kimbrough restrain Holman when he arrived at the scene and straddle his head and neck, contributing obviously to the death of Mr. Holman, is the claim. Let me give you a recap. So on August 10th, it was Kimbrough who responded to the scene of Cunningham Place, it was at Cunningham Place and Joseph E. Larry Boulevard, we call this West End Atlanta, where Mr. Holman got into a minor car accident while on his way from a Bible study spearheaded by his church, Lively Stones of God Ministries. The officer found that the deacon was at fault for the accident and asked him to sign a ticket. Body camera video released in November shows Holman repeatedly saying he was not to blame for the ticket, uh, for the accident, excuse me, and asking to speak to a supervisor. The Legal filing emphasizes that he hesitated and didn't refuse to sign the citation. Um, you are able to provide defense for yourself. You are able to do what typically we would all do, and that's to advocate for oneself in a moment like that. That's all he did. He advocated for himself. Now, Kimbrough told uh, Deacon Holloman he could speak to a supervisor after he signed the documents. The lawsuit claims he started to call his daughter, whom you just saw, or Nitra who was on the phone for most of the interaction. She literally saw her father or heard her father die and then saw it in the video later. After a brief back and forth, Holman agreed to sign, but was met with physical force by the officer who pushed him on the ground. Quote, ignoring Deacon Holman's concession to his request that he signed the ticket, Defendant Kimbrough performed a leg sweep maneuver on Deacon Holman. Defendant Kimbrough performed a leg sweep maneuver on Deacon Holman, taking Deacon Holman to the ground, the complaint said. By doing so, Defendant Kimbrough commented to Deacon Holloman, you acting crazy. Once on the ground, Deacon Holloman told Defendant Kimbrough, I'm an old man, end quote. As you saw in the body cam, while pointing a stun gun at Deacon Holloman, Kimbrough ordered him to put his hands behind his back. Holman repeatedly stated he was struggling to breathe. The lawsuit allegedly said, um, I can't breathe more than a dozen times. After the officer struck and tased Holman, Holman appeared to be unresponsive and was transported to a hospital. He was pronounced dead. Medical, medical examiner determined it was homicide, which means another human being caused the death, saying he suffered from several injuries during that interaction. There's no question about who killed him, okay? Is what the medical examiner is saying. Uh, there's no question that he died because of the actions of the officer and in part the actions of the tow truck driver who is possibly a former cop, a uh, hell of a thing. Sharon, thoughts here. What a stupid society we live in. Yeah. Okay, where an old black man is taken down and killed, I believe murdered, okay, in this country. This is pathetic, okay, and why this man is why don't you just not give us the response of he was fired for some administrative nonsense? He should be under arrest. Yep. I appreciate Fonnie Willis, Dr. Ritchie, but if she can prosecute YSL, it, yeah, okay, because there's another gang running around Atlanta. That's right. Uh, you can definitely make a case to indict for this, 100%, no question. Um, the reality is the man said, I comply, I, I'm complying, I will sign the ticket, and he is still. He is still taken down. He's elderly. You should have known this is a possible reality. He told you he had health issues. You still use the taser. These things are not normative. 
in policing or less, uh, they should not be, let me say that, they should not be normative in policing.